Hello, my name is Eddie Tofpik. I'm Head of Technical Analysis and Senior Markets Analyst at ADM Investor Service International Limited. And here is your weekly technical analysis of Paris milling wheat, Minneapolis wheat and London UK feed wheat. Paris milling wheat. In mid-November last year, the market broke down and out of the combination of the mid-September to mid-November 2023 descending triangle, as well as breaking below the neckline currently at 234 of the June to November 2023 head and shoulders top. This was a break that went all the way down to the May 2023 low at 221 before a reactionary rejection back up. However, the reaction you moved back up only managed to reach the area of the neckline and the lower trend line in mid-December for failing, dropping down all the way to where we are today, a low not seen since March 2021 at 192. In the process, the market filled in a previous gap left over from when the market originally moved up back in July 2021, between 218.5 and 219.5. But it also created two new gaps, small ones, between 216 and a half and 217 and between 212 and three quarters and 213. So let's look now at the June to November 2023 head and shoulders top. I've been frank in stating my view 10 weeks ago when I said, and I quote, that I am not necessarily comfortable with the head and shoulders pattern, but I still feel obliged to indicate potentials for this pattern below. Thus the primary target X2 is in the 215 zone, of a secondary hard to reach target X3 down below the bottom of my daily chart in the 197 zone. And that's the end of my quote. Both these two targets, harder to reach or not, have been achieved in recent weeks. Two weeks ago, after achieving the secondary target, the market hesitated, attempted a seeming pipe bottom and prices turned higher. But it was only temporary and the hesitation has ended and prices have headed lower once again. This leaves me for one big picture item that will bring to your attention once again. So, as part of this move lower, I would like to once again discuss the previously mentioned big, big bear channel, currently 234 to well off the bottom of my daily chart. This bear chart channel is highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart and it originates from June and October 2022, so coming up to two years ago. It is right and appropriate to consider this big picture item in the light of what we have recently seen. There is one more item I'd like to discuss, something I drew last week and one that is not completely satisfactory, but which I would still like to bring to your attention. It is the early November to mid-December 2023 bearish uh, Andrews pitchfork. It is far from perfect, broken almost immediately. However, the market has shown a strong inclination to hang around the declining upper time, highlighted in bright red on my daily chart, and that's currently at 193. Would I like to retire it as it's not working as it should? Yes. But then again, who am I to deny that the broken upper time is indeed showing the bearish angle of attack of this market? Minneapolis wheat. Compared to Chicago wheat and Kansas City wheat, Minneapolis wheat had usually been somewhat easier to read in the past with respect to what was going on and what the opportunities might be. For a while, this seemed no longer true, but recent actions seem to have brought the market back into a clearer line. So, back in late February 2023, and especially at the start of April last year, so that is now outside the parameters of my daily chart, the market constructed a large bear channel that morphed into what we now see highlighted in dark blue on my daily chart a descending expanding wedge pattern currently 763 to down to well off the bottom of my daily chart. The upper trend line has been escorted and reinforced in the past, sort of, by the declining medium moving average currently 716, which when combined together helped cap the market last year. However, in mid-July 2023, attempts higher resulted in a clear break above the upper trend line and also the important declining long moving average currently 768. Prices climbed rapidly during July up to the 50% Fibonacci line and significant August 2020 to May 2022 move at 955, where the rally was capped and prices turned back down. It is this turn back down that's captured my attention. 
as all the while since late July till mid-September last year, have formed a descending scallop pattern. Not only that, but since mid-September 2023, the market formed a crucial ski jump of this descending scallop pattern. And from the start of October last year, it started on its subsequent journey lower to potential dark targets below for such a pattern. Thus, we have a primary target below in the 708 zone with a secondary hard reach target down in the 689 zone. In mid-January this year, the market punched down through the recent 737 to 724 congestion zone as well as the new congestion zone below which is between 693 to 708 eventually reaching the primary target for a while the market did revert back up in late 2023 but the overhead declining short medium moving average currently at 698 highlighted in dark green on my daily chart capped prices throughout december 2023 and into january this year in truth this moving average had been an effective cap on the market since october mid-october 2023 not tested, but effective nonetheless. At the end of December last year, prices gave up testing the overhead short medium moving average and headed lower, reaching the secondary target for the descending scallop pattern. A second attempt lower properly punched through the support, now resistance, between 693 to 708, dropping down to the August 2018 high at 650, and the January to March 2021 congestion. Uh, 2021 congestion zone yes a congestion zone from three years ago that's why i stumbled there a congestion zone between 625 to 650 which is where we are now this also fits in with three other patterns i'd spotted nestling like russian dolls one within another 17 weeks ago i said the following of the first pattern i quote it is the nascent late august to date bear channel highlighted in bright red on my daily chart currently 594 to 720. This pattern is still operational. Once again, I note how we have a smaller bear pattern nestled within a much larger one, much like a Russian doll. End of quote. This pattern is still alive, though we've not really had any tests below or above. The next one is highlighted in purple and is the October 2023 to date bear channel, currently 637 to 715. This one has seen some touches and the market is now approaching the lower trend line currently at 637. The final one is the most recent and is the late December 2023 to late January 2024 bearish shift pitchfork, a pitchfork inspired by Chicago wheat. For the last three weeks, prices have been testing and penetrating a lower, lower time, highlighted in bright green on my daily chart and is currently at 647, and then popping up to the middle time currently at 664 on occasion. All these patterns are bearish and they give varying opportunities depending on what time horizon you might be interested in. For the moment, keep, continue to keep an eye on that three-year-old congestion zone below between 650 to 625. London UK Feed Week. The move higher from the May to July 2023 double bottom pattern reached its climax in mid to late July last year. Since then, prices started moving lower and eventually sideways, and most recently lower again. The short medium moving average, currently 172.10, had tried, not wholly successfully, to act as a sort of a cap on any rises. And the medium moving average, currently 178.5, moved away from being a market attractor to being a slightly distant cap on any of the late last year's attempts higher. Interestingly, one of the key features here, and this is a surprising feature, had been the neckline of the May to June reverse head and shoulders bottom, currently at 188.45, acting first as a pretty reasonable support and then later as an additional resistance, though I suspect in the background the September 2021 low at 181.70 and perhaps more importantly the 50% 50 absolute Fibonacci line at 180.5 had helped in the past to prop up prices, and now this year to cap prices instead. In the bigger picture, there has been no significant pattern development being undertaken apart from the previously mentioned neckline. This is a little disappointing and unsurprising all at the same time. The market seemed reasonably happy back last year to travel sideways to even slightly higher around, along and on top of the neckline and towards the greater bearish pressure of the declining medium moving average and long moving average, currently 178.5 and 183.05 respectively. They were and are descending in from above. This situation was not designed designed to last, and at the start of the middle of twenty, to the start of the middle of twenty twenty three, we saw prices uh, fall through the support. 
and then five weeks ago make a weekly key reversal down to confirm the bearishness. Prices have exploited this bearish pattern ever since. So what lies in wait below? Well, we have the May 2020 low at 149.95, the April 2020 low at 148.45, but the March 2020 and the 2020 as a whole low at 145.45. What seems more interesting is that within an old piece of congestion dating from between 2016 to 2018 and between 147 and three quarters and 136, that's where we have the next significant piece of support. There's also congestion above between 161.95 and 165.75, though how good that may be is debatable as prices slice through it on down through within a week when it happened in earlier in February. Thank you for listening. This weekly broadcast gives the essential market patterns and consequences. Please be aware of the risk disclaimer posted both at the front and at the back of this broadcast. Copyright is Eddie Tofpik and ADM Investor Services International Limited. And here comes the final important bit.